Hey guys, welcome to another video on my channel. I'm Tony, and in this video I'm going to show you how to add a bagger to a Murray lawn tractor. Um, this should pretty much be the same on a few different lawn tractors, or if you have a different make, it may not be too far off from what you have. Uh, so we're going to install that one, a bagger that I have, onto this lawnmower. Um, it should help up my fall cleanup. They have a bunch of um, leaves and stuff and you know acorns in the yard so it'll help to mulch the uh, leaves up put into the bags and um, before I roll into that remember if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel you'll get all our latest updates and if you have any, if you have any questions leave a comment on the video I'll get right back to you let's roll into this okay so you ordered this bagging system from Home Depot just came in the other day so there's a few pieces to it so I'll take all the parts out, read the instructions, and we'll start assembling this. Take parts of the discharge too. How hard could it be, right? Instructions, stuff <laughs> is on top of it. Um, Bags. So these are the soft bags. Some bracketry. Some type of a bar. I'll figure out what that's for. Another bracket. More brackets. All we need is a welding torch, right? <laughs> so another piece of plastic that goes or something, we'll figure it out. And I don't know, a pack and slip. Alright, so let's figure this all out and we'll get this thing attached and we'll roll into it. So Rob decided to hide on the side, but I wasn't gonna let him, so now he's actually in the, <laughs> in the video <laughs> picking stuff apart. Isn't that right, Rob? I'm looking for the pots. <laughs> I figured I'd help out a little bit. You know? Yeah, make yourself useful. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is attach two brackets to the sides. Uh, one goes on the left, right like that, and there's another one that goes on the right. And uh, they come with a couple of um, half-inch bolts. Right, so get yourself like a ratchet with a half an inch, half inch socket if those are the bolt sizes that your lum or a bag or attachment has. And um, these holes like have threads in them, so you just have to catch the bolts by hand. Make sure they're straight. Then use your socket wrench and secure them in place. Two bolts, one on the top, one on the bottom. Once this one is in, repeat the process on the other side. On these um, brackets, uh, this hardware also came with it, but we need to hold off right now. Um, and we'll put these in later in the video. So here's another bracket that we have to assemble. So it comes in three pieces with a couple of bolts and some wing nuts. So it's going to go together like this. And then make sure the hooks are on the same side. Facing down. Facing down. Put one bolt through and then take your wing nut. And I do one side at a time. Make sure that's secure and take your other plate make sure everything is lined up just a couple tabs slides through the holes right there and put your other bolt through then grab your other wing nut and screw that on as well so I flip this around so you can see it a little easier on the camera. So 
it's going to go like that. And kind of put your finger underneath the bolt to help keep it pushed up and into place. And on the other side of this, there's like a square spot, so it keeps the bolt. You can tighten that down easy. All right, so this bracket is all assembled. Let's go to the next one. Flip this one over. All right, so good old Rob here has some more parts. What do you got now, Rob? Well, we got to attach more to that bracket there before we can do anything else. Yeah, all right. So we have to attach that bracket in here hand to this bracket that we just did, right? Yes, that's correct. All right, so let's install this. Okay, so we just, hold on a minute, we just spun this around, and um, this is how this bracket's going to go. There's a square. Uh, box right here. So what that does is when you put the bolt through it holds the bolt Keeps the bolt from turning so you can put the wing nut on So make sure that's on the right way This bracket is facing this way a little bit of a uh, We don't pre-rehearse much <laughs> so you, get, you get all the entertainment on film, which is the beauty of the video <laughs> Isn't that right Rob? We make it happen <laughs> This This is <laughs> This is live, not live TV, it's reality, yeah, reality. Reality TV. <laughs> we don't sugarcoat anything over here. <laughs> so, but hey, all of our screw-ups save you, the view of the aggravation of going through this, so you can watch this entire video, laugh at us, and then you've got to figure it out. <laughs> right? That's right. All right. Now, take this bracket. Yeah. Hook it on, flip it over. Up. So you're going to take this bracket now, and you're going to hook it onto those other brackets. See these little slots? They're going to hook right up and on those top pins. Aha! And then these little doodads that we showed at the beginning, that we said we were going to use later, it's later, so we're going to use them, easy, right? Easy detachment clevises. Easy detachment clevises. Is that the, the name for them? They close. Don't call them anything else because you could hurt their feelings. Sorry, let's show the guys how to put these easy detachment, whatever they're called in there. So you're gonna you get the pins. Yep, slide it in and put the clip. So on you basically side. you slide them in, and this like this clip goes right in like that to cloud a pin. So <coughs> where do they go from the outside in? Yep. Alright, so you're gonna put one in here. Then you put the um just press the cloud pin in. And then you grab the other one. And you go from the outside into the hole on the bottom of the bracket. And then uh, this is for easy removal, I, I believe, right, Rob? Yes, that's correct. All right. All right, so that's in there nice and secure. Make sure your wing nuts are, are tight. These are all set. These are all set. <coughs> all right, so what's the next part of this? This is your pin. But usually you go here, but... You got two extra hole, two holes, and okay. it allows you to still tow your trailer. So, so this pins is it going to go up in here right now? You can put it whichever direction you want, whatever's easier. And how does it allow you to tow your trailer? Because you can't get to the original. You can't get to the original anymore. trailer pin. So, if you have like a wand sweeper, I feel like I am, and you're going to take his, so you don't have to buy one. <laughs> <laughs> so you put it in like that. Funny guy. And then you just put the cotter pin through, right? That's correct. Now, all right. All right. You good. Next. It's on right there. All right. So, on the back of this, according to the instructions, you have a hole. And they're labeled A, B, a, B and C. It um, might be hard to see it on the camera, but they're stamped into the steel. I've got a 38-inch deck on this mower, so we're going to line this up. With, what does it say? A. Hole A. Oh, oh, it's 42 and 46 for B and C. Yeah. So I've got three holes in here. So line it right in the middle. Yeah, you're going with, you're going with hole A. For the okay. 38. So put it right in the middle of yep, this right hole? right in the middle. Can you come out like that? Or? Does it say? You can put the... No, it says the other way. Yep, spin it the other way. Because there are uh, little Easy boxes on here, yep. and it's going to keep prevent us from spinning on you. So reach inside with the wing nut. And you're gonna attach it. Is 
All right, I just got a kite. So you're gonna spin this line. Why is this taking so long? This should have taken us like five minutes. I would have had it done by Yeah, then. I know you would have had it done. <laughs> no. Ah. That's good. Hey, Rob, what are we doing now? Bagger attachment uh, for har carrying the bags. Okay. Put these bars up top. These, this bar? Nope, the, the metal bars come, come straight towards you, flip yourself over. Like that. Nope. And flip it around. Make it flat now. How are you going to make it flat? <laughs> oh, yeah, that way. Okay. I see what you're saying. So now we've got to put that on like that. Yeah, because it'd be hard to put the bags on the other way, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, so now we got to put that bolt in there. Everything's wing nuts on us, which is actually pretty good. Easy yeah. Yeah, so you can take it apart easier and it won't kill you too badly. So at the time of the video, I bought, I mean, I think the bagger was about 269, 279, something like this. That, so, you know, it'll save me from hiring somebody to rake my leaves up. Just drive around and do it. That crazy part, right? All right. So next is what? This shoot thing so we get the shoot thing we'll call it a what's the proper name for it is it a shoot thing well not yet this is just the hold the shoot thing <laughs> that's just the hold the shoot thing hey rob's rob's attaching the shoot thing it's okay yeah we might have to go like this though so what that does is it helps keep i think the shoot in place so when you run over leaves acorns and beer cans it helps to propel it right into the basket. Isn't that right, Rob? That's correct. She's <laughs> right, a little tight. Wiggle it. Just, just a little, little bit. bit. <laughs> All right. All right. To the red line. Oh, that's, yeah, there's a red line. There's a, a marker on here, so you got to line it up with that, right? Is it in there? Pop that in. Yep. There you go. Nice. Wing. Oh, right. What's next? Rob's lost. He doesn't even know what that thing is. Well, this <laughs> is the top cover. <laughs> now, that crazy pin you were talking about early in the video. Yeah. You had no idea. This, we need that. The, with the pin down here? Yeah. Oh, the, this bar. We had this loose bar right there. So, we're going to put this on. Does this come now? Yes. All right. So, all right. Right now, it's time to put the bar in. So this bar goes right in here. It's just the bar. How's it keep from coming out? Maybe in a... She slides in. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, go one way. Yep. Oh, all right. Hold on for a minute. Towards you. Okay. So what we're going to do with this bar is we're going to, what, line it up and slide it on through? You got to get that... And it's a pain to get in here with the camera. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so this is easier. You know what? If you close the cover down, you can worm your way through the hole. Hold on. So we're messing with this thing. And all right, there's a tab right here to line this up. And there's a hole. Keep going. I'll hold it to line it up. And you just go easy with it and you can line everything right up. Where's my rubber mallet? Can you push this more? <laughs> go easy, right? You're almost in. Once you get to the tab, all yeah. right, there you go. Is it in on that side? Yeah. It's sticking through? Yeah. All right, so slide that rod through. And uh, now you can lift up the top of the... It's not a trash bin, it's a... What is it? Grass catcher. Yeah, leaf catcher, a grass catcher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now you should be ready to do what? Slide these bags on? All right, how do these go? Does this kind of hang out here or? No, nah, they've got it this way. Yeah, that way. It should just catch right on that. Hold it right in there. They snap or no, I think they just kind of. No, they kind of sit this will hold it. Okay, yeah, they just kind of hang out in there. 
So there's one. Let's put on the other one. I guess you don't want them clamped on there like too crazy because you want to make it fast and you're emptying them, right? Yep. Cool. They, yeah, let's kind of hang out in there. And uh, what's next, man? Now we're going to put the shoot on. He thinks he can figure it out by reading. <laughs> so the instructions say to put this little, um, it's like a little tip into the deck of the mower. So it's going to go down here. There's a hole. There's two little holes and it only really fits through one. And um, put the nut on the bottom. And then you're going to need two 7 16 wrenches. That's the size of these in this kit. You know, this could be different. Let me go grab another wrench. All right. So. Hold it with this one. And kind of crank up this down. Right, that's secure. You don't have to crank on it real tight. You just make sure it's snugged up. All right, so that's how it hooks on to the uh, deck. So we're gonna attach the rest of the tubing and mess with the lower deck part of it and uh, see if it's any easier, right? Yeah, I'll get, you just gotta, once you're on there once, you'll be able to get a, Yeah, we need these tabs. These hold this little piece together. Yeah, so there's a couple plastic tabs. They're just like, almost like Grommets. an automotive yeah. grommet. You push them through. It's like the kind of tab that hold a door panel to a car. So you push those in. So now we can grab. The bigger end. You want the bigger end? All right. <coughs> so, all right. So you connect this in here. Nope. Oh, the other end. Yeah. This end. Slide that in, in there. Ah, uh, just slips, slips right over, and then. Yeah, let's get this on the camera. Up in the groove. So there's a little groove right here. You got to slip it up and in. Line it up in the groove. Yeah, and then Rob the plumber is going to work on the other end and tighten that up again. Let's go over and see what he's doing. Did you get that on? All right, so this is how the strap should be. And it's connected right there. You can see right there it holding onto that uh, nub that we put on, the tip. So it holds that in place. Now what else do we have? We got a gasket that really doesn't make sense to me, but. Yeah, we got a gasket that shouldn't do anything. <laughs> so it looks good though. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's put this gasket on. So does this gasket go? Right around. Right around the, the flange lands. I guess so the leaves don't come out. Yeah, that's the fun part. Especially when you're driving by your neighbor. Mm. <laughs> Kidding! <laughs> Make sure you stay right on the property line and aim it towards them. <laughs> He's getting old. He really needs glasses. That's why it's taking so long to peel the... I kind of really do. <laughs> Bear with me, bear with me. <laughs> Line it up right in the groove. Yep. So that's going to make the world a difference when you're riding around with a beer, I mean a soda pop, picking up leaves. <laughs> it's going to kill all the vibration, right? Oh, yeah. Like cold trickle going into turn one. <laughs> Wide open. Picked up a vibration. <laughs> and now you did it. And so what are we doing now? There's a like a little lock over there. And there's a lock in the back to hold the cover in place. So how are we looking on the shoot? Shoot looks pretty good now. Does it look like it's gonna come undone? Only if you hit something. Yeah. I'm thinking. Let me make a few adjustments on it. Yeah. 
I think it should be all right. I'm looking how it is. They don't tell you to do this in the instructions, but um, I mean, this is pretty secure, but I'm going to throw a couple of um, self-tapping uh, screws in here just to kind of hold the chute a little bit more stable. There. Yeah, we'll throw one on the back side and that'll hold everything nice and tight. Make it a little more steadier. Yep. So that's something that you have to do, but. Vibration is shaking. Yeah, it's just vibration might help it out, keep it in place. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I hope this helped you out. And I'm not saying that this is the right way to do it, or the wrong way to do it, but this is the way that we did it. And I hope this helped you out. Definitely subscribe to the channel and like the video if you like it. Take it easy.